Today, I wanted to show you how to make the perfect black and white magazine gel plate transfer. I mean, almost picture like. So the first thing you're gonna need is your supplies. So you're gonna need your gel plate, you're gonna need your rollers, and you need black and white acrylic paint because that's the colors we're working with today. You're going to need just a scrap piece of paper to clean your roller, brayer, whatever you call it, and some paper to take your positive image, and you can have any kind of paper. So I have white paper. I also have these vintage songbook sheets, and I have some craft paper. So whatever suits your fancy, you can use that. So these are my papers right here. And last but not least, you're going to need some high quality black and white images from a magazine. So these are the images that I have currently. And if you notice one thing about all these images, they're very high contrast images. So the con when, what I mean by high contrast is the contrast between dark to light in the image is very apparent so you see her suits really dark and her face is very light so you can see the stark contrast from dark to light in all these images so i'm using the liquitex um, acrylic color in mars black this is my favorite to use on a gel plate i find that it's just the right consistency for a really good print i have some mars black in artist quality acrylic paints and I find that they're just too thick and too heavy the, the viscosity is much too high to use for um, that so I'm just gonna put like a pea size amount or maybe a little bit over a pea size amount then I am going to rub that into my gel plate covering my gel plate I right away felt like maybe I've put just a little too much, but that's okay. That's what our piece of paper is for. So I'm going to use this little piece of paper here just to clean my roller off. I want to cover my plate, but I need, there to, need it to be a little bit tacky so that I can pull the image successfully off. Okay, so I think we're good. So this is my image. I'm going to place it down onto the gel plate like so and rub that in. Unfortunately, it's not centered, but that's okay. If you have an additional roller, you could just use your additional roller to roll the image into the plate. Or you can also use one of these bad boys. But I actually really don't love this tool. I don't know why. I find my hands are the best, and that's what I like to use. So there, now I'm going to pull that off gently, just to do like a little bit of a spot test. And look at that, bam. So you can see some of the imperfections in my gel plate in the image, which doesn't bother me typically, but for this demonstration it does, So, but we'll work through it. So now I'm gonna put some white on the side, like so. Um, if you can, you can just pick up your white on a separate surface and transfer it, but I don't have that luxury in the studio, so this is what I'm working with. So I'm just placing that white all over the image, and I'm trying to work fast and consistent. And it's all about just your layers and how thin they are. You want to make sure the white is very thin, like the thinnest layer of white that you can possibly afford. And then put that down, rub that in. Once again, I like to use my hands because I know what pressure I'm using and how I just like to feel the process. All right. Now, for the moment of truth, let's pull and see what we've got. 
Look at that. That is the absolute most perfect black and white image that you can get from a gel plate. It's almost like the original. All right, let's do another one and see what we can get. Again, we're going to use our Liquitex um, black paint, just a small amount. I'm going to roll that into the gel plate, covering the entirety of the gel plate with the black paint. And there you have it. So let's do this one. Place the image down directly onto the plate like so. I'm going to rub that in vigorously or as vigorous as one can afford to do so. I'm concentrating a lot in the middle because there's quite a bit of detailing in the faces in the middle so I'll do like that. Let me pull that off. Wow, look at that. It is almost lifelike. It is absolutely a stunner. So for the white paint, I typically put a little bit more than I need. And I'm using that same wet um, black roller to pick up the paint. So then now I'm getting sort of like a nice gray mixture. And this is one of the reasons why I do this. And so I am working it in really gently and trying to push it into the plate so that it works it really nicely. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. Like so. And then I'm going to use my vintage um, paper. I showed you earlier and I'll put that on like so rub that in and then you pull it off because the paper is vintage it's difficult but look Perfection. Isn't that stunning? Created these two almost lifelike images using just black and white on the gel plate. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!